Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler, your friendly evolutionary astrologer in the neighborhood or the world wide web. So, this is the weekly astrological message for the week between the 22nd and the 29th of July 2017 and the message that I have for you this week before we start speaking astrologists is look that fear in the eye and walk through it don't let your hesitation don't let your insecurities don't let your overly critical brains stop you from boldly going where you haven't stepped before and exploring new territory and taking part in new activities this is the time to give birth to the new in your life now let's speak astrologists a little so first of all yesterday the 21st and today the 22nd we had Mars the planet of May energy uh, going into Leo today we have the Sun going into Leo so happy birthday all you Leos out there and basically the feeling is that there's a lot more joy and and there's a sunny atmosphere and there's a great need to take part in life and play with life and enjoy life and do something that even if it leaves a mark a positive mark on the world just in my children's life it would still be my unique gift to the world it would be because i have lived in it uh, leo wants to make sure that it provided something of essence something that would be left behind after we are all gone and 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 contribute to life so these days of the 21st and the 22nd this build-up of energy is truly a build-up for the new moon at the 23rd there's a new moon in Leo, one of two new moons in Leo this year. And it's conjunct Mars. This is such a creative time. This is a great time to give birth to anything new in your life, to any creative endeavor, to any artistic endeavor, to surge your head and do things, to, to assert yourself and to uh, explore and to really allow yourself to innocently innocently follow your dreams and wishes the only thing we need to watch out from is not watching before we leap you know not being careful enough because that Mars energy Leo energy is not that careful and the other thing is not to be too aggressive or not to overlook the feelings or needs of others in our environment not to be too proud or too vain but once we do that yes yes allow yourself I mean if we made sure that we I mean let's say I'm just giving an example here let's say I want to take my extra, my astrology practice to the new level and to a new level and I've been a, a um, you know a, I've been an astrologer to my friends and to to people who know me but I haven't gone and made that professional step and now I feel that I need, I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about this as an analogy. And now I feel that I want to actually take astrology to a new professional level in my life. But then I get all these critics within my mind saying, hey, you're not professional enough. Hey, who's going to pay you? Who's making money from astrology today? Who would need you? Your message is invalid. What you give to the world is obsolete. It's lost. It's, and, and we have all this mind manipulations that can stop us from actually becoming and believing that what we need to do is of essence. So during these days of the 23rd and before that and today and, 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 and also uh, after that, this is a great time to actually tell these voices, shut up, you know. Shut up, because if I would be listening to you, I wouldn't be going anywhere. I would probably still wearing my pajamas and, and calling my mama and papa to wipe my ass each time I'm in the bathroom. 
sorry for this horrible analogy. I don't know why it came. But I wouldn't be independent. This is a time with Mars on the new moon to find new independence. To break free. To be your own person. To listen to your inner self. Not to look to the outside. Not to wait for others in your life. Not to wait for their validation, for their support. But do it yourself. This is about you. This is about you as an individual. And the fact that if you follow your own heart, then your gifts are the sweetest and are the most important and most valid to the group if we follow our own hearts, if we do what it is we desire and love, we become much more fruitful in the end. So that's the 23rd and just another comment on the new moon. Like every new moon, and especially with Mars conjuncted, watch your energies, don't become aggressive. And remember that everything that passes through that emotional sponge called the human during a, a day before and a day after and the new moon, of course, is imprinted, imprinted uh, in the three and a half weeks of the lunar cycle, the 29 days of the lunar cycle. So on the 25th, on the 25th we have a special day because that would be the day that Mercury, the planet of navigation, the planet of uh, thoughts and the planet of communication, will be moving away from Leo and going into its sign of domicile, into Virgo. It would be doing that alongside the Moon and conjunct Vista. And of course it goes over the royal star of Regulus that is just on the cusp of Virgo. So this is a special time. It's a time to just Make it clear in your life. See things with a better lens to see the finer details of everything that needs to be more efficient in our life. Things that need to be cleaned out. Things that need to be made more exact. How do we streamline what it is we're trying to create? What it is we're trying to achieve? Our next step. How are we making sure that emotional sustenance, that emotional security, i.e. the moon, is heightened because of our strategic actions, because of the way we navigate our life, Mercury in Virgo. And because this is over Regulus and Mercury becomes so much more powerful in its domicile, there is a feeling that we can take subjects that we shone away from, that we looked away from, that if we didn't want to deal with, that there was a big mess in our lives with, and that really felt that made, make, made, made us feel less empowered and less able. And we are now able to look at them and cleanse out that mess and take that, um, take that labyrinth and actually solve it solve it and, and make good use of the new clean feng shui in our lives you know it was a there was a place that we just we stucked all those things all that clutter in our life and now we're able to actually clean it we're able to fix it we're able to heal it remember that virgo and mercury have a lot to do with healing i.e the kadosus the staff of Mercury that is now used as the symbol of medicine. So Virgo and, and uh, Mercury have a lot to do with healing. It's a great time for healing a lot of places that are too cluttered, that are sick, that are unorganized, that are not efficient in our lives. So uh, the 27th, the moon is in Virgo and it's squaring Saturn. So that's a day to be less critical. That's a day to be more uh, flexible and easy about things, 
and not too hard with yourself or other people around you. And on the 28th, night time in Europe, noon time till evening time in the States, Eastern uh, Standard Time, more like morning till afternoon in the West Coast. The moon in Libra is going to conjunct Jupiter. Great time to enjoy yourself. Great time to study anything spiritual. Great time to broaden your horizons. Great time for traveling as well. But basically a time to enjoy life and make, make life emotionally peaceful and blissful. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, message. And of course, for questions, for private consultations, for lectures and courses or private lessons, you're more than welcome to contact me. I'm Boaz Feiler and have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.